I'm Barbara Seymour. I was first diagnosed, I didn't think I'd get to see my granddaughters grow up and mature to be young people. And my seventh anniversary, my oldest granddaughter, 17, was in a play and I looked at her and all I could see was this young, mature woman that I had been wanting to see. And there she was on the stage and it was a, an overwhelmingly exciting, gratifying, warm, wonderful moment for me in my life. Life before cancer, I was involved. I was a volunteer coordinator in a hospital in Olympia, Washington, and enjoyed that and had a, a great lifestyle of ballroom dancing. I love to garden, have always gardened, so I've been able to live and be very active in my community and my, with my family, which is very important. Family and friends are vital to my survival. Anger at receiving a poor prognosis. When I was told that I had the five months to live and I awakened to the fact, yes, I've got five more months, I became angry. And I still today do not believe anyone should ever be given the diagnosis of X number of days or months to live. I think patients get angry because we haven't offered the information in the context of a partnership about what we could do or what we're trying for. You know, every patient knows that we, you know, we don't always get what we hope for. But there is a best case scenario and a worst case scenario, and you can certainly talk about that. And um, that's the information I think people come to us for. Find a doctor you feel safe talking with. Hi, Barb. Hi. The first time I met Dr. Bach was very exciting for me because I felt very safe having him as my oncologist. I'm very candid with him, and of course my most emotional discussion is pancreatic cancer is spelled death. And I totally believe that I will know when I am going to die. And I have told him that when that day comes, I will tell him. She wants to know about everything that's going on with her, but she doesn't necessarily want me to say, and this means the prediction about your lifespan is X. She would actually rather have me leave that off. Um, it doesn't mean she doesn't want to plan, and in fact, she's done a lot of planning. I think it frees her up to do what she needs to do, and um, from my point of view, she's done all the important preparation um, I need. She's taught, I know who to call if something happens all of a sudden. I know what she wants if the cancer gets really bad. But she's done enough preparation now so that we don't have to keep returning to it. Your doctor can help you plan, but can't predict the course of your disease. My advice to people who are diagnosed with cancer, whatever cancer, whether pancreatic or whatever, talk to your doctor and tell your doctor how you feel. And maybe it's not easy to hear what they have to say, but we as cancer patients need to know what is available for us and what we, we can use in our lives. My philosophy of pancreatic cancer is I am going to live. I'm going to live every day as best I can and and do the best I can for whatever I have in my life that day. Department of Health and Human Services USA, National Institutes of Health, National Cancer Institute, www.cancer.gov slash prognosis 1-800-4-CANCER, produced December 2012.